Sean's back on it. Yeah, that's right. Anyway. Uh, three, two, and... Great to catch up with Paul Rogash from the Hastings Food Hastings Club, you said. Off air, Paul, intense. Intense game of footy, obviously. Yeah, it was. It's, uh, it was a great game. We haven't... Um, Seaford's probably the only team in about five years I've played that I've hardly known a bloke in the team because really? we don't know anything about them coming in. They've obviously been in the other league. So, um, it was a great game. A good, good side. Um, it was very back and forth all the way. Um, you know, sort of, the team was a lot of goals. I think it was 90 to something. Yes. Basically like 90 to 80. So, 13 and, goals each. Yeah, and we haven't kicked over probably 50 or 60 for the year. So, that was pleasing. Um, it was, I, I think, if you're watching, I think it was a pretty good game. For you. you had more scoring shots, so when you look at it, do you think you were the better side for most of the day? Um, not as much as last week when we played Chelsea. I thought, um, we, we thought we should have been six goals up at half time against Chelsea. They come back, they're a good side, they had a lot of good players, so they made us pay, as good sides do. Um, so we knew we were playing well. Um, so I think I think it was pretty easy today, to be honest. I think both sides had their had their moments. Um, luckily, we, we uh, took a few more goals this week and hit a point. How important was it to win after dropping the previous two, considering you've won your first three? You just yeah. needed to find a way to win somehow, Paul. Yeah, it was huge. Uh, one for just for the ladder position. Yeah, I think we're, what, we're four and two now. Um, so I'm four and two, yeah. Um, but also just to beat a side that's around our mark. Um, so you know, we, we beat um, a couple of the sides that are probably around your, you know, sixth, seventh, eighth position. Um, not the bottom sides, but the, the ones that are sort of, you know, probably struggling to make finals, but still fairly good. You expect to be. First test against Red Hill, we got pumped, uh, which was really disappointing. Like I said, we played well last week against Chelsea, but didn't get the chocolate, so it was really important to uh, to beat a side that we think we're battling for those last couple of spots. Todd Elton, Paul, was a big recruit for you this year. It seemed like you might have come of age today. Yeah. Huge raps from yep. club members. Yeah, I think um, the first game Fair played against Devon Meadows, Toddy was just about a, actually, just about a best player, and then against Red Hill again, so from building, um, he's just... He moves really well. He's six foot five. And he's got good hands, so um, we expect him to be a very good player in this league. Um, but he's, he's, I think he's starting to get used to playing with you know, his teammates and um, and getting used to the way we play and all. Because it takes time, um, but it's yeah, it's starting to come to fruition now. He's, uh, he's really starting to hit top gear, which is uh, it's fun for us. And uh, as you said, obviously having not played Seaford before. Can you do a lot of homework? Obviously, you can do homework on them, but yep. not knowing what to expect, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Um, can be both, yeah, mm. can be both. Um, potentially a good thing. I mean, um, you're not as right. You, you probably tend to focus on yourself a bit more and your, your own team, so um, that's probably But in saying that, we watched them on tape and looked at the way they play, and, um, and we thought they played pretty similar to us. Um, so, yeah, and we know they've got a couple of good players of racing and Barker and those guys, so, um, but uh, no, it's probably better to just concentrate on us. Well, congrats on the win, four and two, wins a win, well done. Thanks, good, good luck uh, with the bye next week, uh, nice rest for you, and then get ready, of course, for uh, the second part of the season, well done. Yeah, thanks, Dan. Good on you, Paul. Thanks, Paul.